All right, guys, here we go with part two of the kettlebell level one workshop. The exercises in part two consist of single arm kettlebell exercises. Uh, before we were holding it with both hands, now we're gonna be holding it with one. And obviously everything we do on one side, we are going to also do on the other. So we ended with kettlebell two-handed swings. We are gonna start with kettlebell one arm swings. So setting this kettlebell up in front of me, where to hold the handle with one hand, slightly, on the inside, okay? Slightly on the inside. When we grab that kettlebell, it's in front of us. We swing it through the legs. Slight turn inwards of our thumb, up to chest level. I like to reach my other hand out. Bring it right to the side of the kettlebell. Why? Because this to me feels a little awkward. Keep my arm up like this, feels a little awkward. I like to move that other arm with it. And just a little, a little pointer I want to add. This is a good weight for me for single arm swings. 35 to 55 pounds is fine. If I were swinging a very light kettlebell, however, let's, um, let's just grab a 12 kilogram. What can happen, and this can happen with two hands too, is when you swing it, it might be starting to flip up like that. And the problem with the flip, well, it shows me for one, that it's too light of a kettlebell for you. So again, even with two hands, this is a really light kettlebell for me. And you can see that because the momentum that's being created by my lower body is bringing that kettlebell up with so much force that my wrists are just letting the kettlebell flip back. You wanna make sure you have a kettlebell that is the right weight. So no flip. And if you see your members or clients flipping, encourage them to lift a heavier weight. So that's your one arm swing guys. Starts in front, slight turn inwards, especially with the bigger bells like this. Because if you don't turn it inwards, you're more likely to hit your leg. Now you can see that I changed from pants to shorts because even when doing it with pants on, you can see that the hand will kind of get caught in the pants if they're a little too baggy. So I prefer working out something a little more comfortable, a little shorter when doing stuff like this. So everything we do on one side, we then go and we do on the other. All the same principles apply that applied with the two-handed swing. From there, we can go into alternating one-arm swings, okay? Alternating one-arm swings are gonna look like this, a little different with the hand position unless you want to hold the inside. Well, if you do want to hold the inside of the hand, you're actually going to have to turn the kettlebell. And turning the kettlebell isn't always what I recommend for starters. I'm going to show you a couple variations here. Start by holding the kettlebell with both hands. Let go with one hand. Now, just like in the exercise we practiced earlier, you have something to switch to. Swing, switch, swing, switch. Thumb in, thumb in. Switch at chest level. Do not switch. Common mistake is down here at the bottom. Because if you're switching down at the bottom, I am telling you, it's gonna be all arm and shoulder trying to swing that kettlebell up. And that's exactly what we don't want when we do kettlebell swings. So you have to switch at the top. You wanna take that thumb and turn it in. Don't swing with it out. And chest level is very important because if you swing higher, It's gonna feel very awkward coming down. So you wanna stop it right at the chest. The other way you can do it, which you'll see some people do, is kind of a hammer grip where you turn. So watch, you can turn, 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 turn. You're almost throwing the kettlebell from hand to hand. Let me just go to the other side. Nothing wrong with it. Not something I would teach my clients to do because they're more likely to drop the kettlebell in class. And the last thing you want is somebody slamming the kettlebell onto your floor, God forbid, onto their foot. Safety is important. We wanna to try to keep everybody safe as much as we can. So I like to teach 
hand to hand, keep that empty space on the kettlebell handle so you can do a nice, easy transfer. So yeah, there you go, um, how to switch. A couple um, progressions, I guess you could call them. If you wanna do that one arm swing, you can go into a high elbow, push it back down, high elbow, push it back down. Just like before, you can see my other arm moving. Switch at the top, other side. And one really cool one that I like, it's, it's still in the swing family, um, kind of. It's the side swing. Start down here at the bottom, swing it up to the side. A little bit more of a squat, but it's still just as cool. Down, up. I love that one. Just a fun little progression that you can play around with. Gonna show a lot of these other ones in level two. Have fun with it, guys. Swing safely, swing effectively. Let's move on to the clean and then the push press and clean and press.